ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Snoop Dogg recently. He was at the um, Milken Institute 2023 Global Conference in Beverly Hills, California. And he was one of the panelists talking and they were asking Snoop Dogg about streaming. They were asking about AI and, a, you know, a lot of other things. So it's very interesting to see a lot of these celebs now speaking up on AI and um, things that are affecting the industry. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. That's what's actually that those moves are actually what helped to usher in hip hop and you know make it what it is on streaming today. So from that perspective, I think we're well positioned, you know, with my history at Apple, our ability to plug into physical in the way that we can now, like no other company, um, just seeing exactly the pie chart of, of, of streaming in the United States, streaming globally. Um, it's an exciting time, really it is, I must say, you know? It's exciting, but streaming gotta get, get their shit together. Cause I don't understand how the fuck you get paid off of that shit. <laughs> like, I mean, can somebody explain to me how you can get a billion streams and not get a million dollars? Like, that shit don't make sense to me. Like, I don't know who the fuck running the streaming industry, if you in here or not. <laughs> but nigga, you need to give us some information on how the fuck to track this money down. Because one plus one ain't adding up to two. That shit don't add up, and I have to say it. Because that's the main gripe with a lot of us artists is that we do major numbers with streams and this shit, but it don't add up to the money. Like, what the fuck is the money? When I first came out, my records would sell based off of physical. If you sold a million copies, that means if $9.99, $9 million, you get this percentage, that's what it is. So if I sell how many streams, how much money do I get? It's not being translated and, and it's not working for the artists right now. And I just want to speak to that in yeah, the no, music industry, talk. like that's fucked up. And we need to find a way to figure that out. The same way the writers are figuring out, the writers are striking because streaming, they can't get paid. Because when it's on the platform, it's not like in the box office. In the box office, if it does all these numbers, you may get it up. Oh, it did this many, here's another check. But on streaming, you got 300,000 hours that somebody watched your movie, where's the money? And I know I'm going off a script right now, but fuck it. This is business. <laughs> yeah. This is business. You know what I'm saying? This is a room full of business people, and somebody may hear this and be able to do something about it so that way the next artist don't have to struggle or cry or try to figure out how to get to his money. Because some of these artists are streaming millions and millions and millions and millions of fucking streams, and they don't got no millions of dollars in their pocket. So I just yeah. wanted to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk that talk. <laughs> Well, another thing these writers are, are striking about is AI hmm. and the use of AI uh, by the studios to write scripts, let's hmm. say. Yeah. And you mentioned Drake in The Weeknd. Mm -hmm. We recently saw, you know, an AI version of a collaboration between those two. Of course, Snoop, dying to know your thoughts on this. Um, well, I got a motherfucking AI right now that they didn't made for me. This nigga could talk to me. I'm like, <laughs> like, man, this nigga can hold a real conversation. <laughs> like, for real, for real, like, it's, it's blowing my mind because I watched movies on this as a kid years ago when I used to see this <laughs> shit, and I'm like, what is going on? Then I heard the dude that, the old dude that created AI is talking about, this is not safe because the AI's got their own minds and these motherfuckers <laughs> gonna start doing their own shit. I'm like, is we in a fucking movie right now or what? <laughs> the fuck, man? So uh, do I need to invest in the AI so I can have one with me? Uh, like, do y'all know shit? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, Snoop is a mess. Let me come back on the screen here. So you guys heard what he had to say. Again, proof of these celebrities are struggling. But when you say something, you're hating, you're being mean, they're finding out that they too can be replaced. 
Hollywood don't care about none of that mush mouth shit. Y'all want to be out here acting a fool, getting arrested every other day, you know, causing uh, these companies money. You can and will be replaced. We got AI Drake out here dropping good music. Sorry, I, I just, I like AI Drake. I told y'all that um, in my in my last deep dive. That song was fire. Um, AI Weekend, AI Kanye, you know, so it, it's it's very interesting. But he's very right about the streaming services. But again, I don't understand, like, why are we having these conversations now in 2023? People have been saying this for years. I know I've made videos years ago talking about streaming and the music industry and how a lot of these artists are definitely worth more in death when, the, when they're alive. And one thing about streaming, we have to understand that when companies and when the people, powers that be run things, they do things with an outlook on the future. If you go back and you read some of the old music contracts um, from back in the day, I believe Prince was exposing some, maybe MJ. Even before there was ever dig digital anything, they would say in the contracts, in the future, future music, outside of record sales, physical sales. Th these were words that were in the contract. So that lets you know 20, 30, 40 years ago, they had the wherewithal of forethought. They knew where the industry was going in the next 20, 30, 40 years, but we weren't paying attention. We were living in the now. You, you mean to tell me that the record label just had no idea that, that uh, there would be something like Napster coming down the pipeline? You better go back and really research. They've been known this. And this is why all of that stuff, it, it was just all a play to get regulations to eventually move everything from physical to digital. Because with digital, you can manipulate numbers. When it comes to physical CDs, physical records, you have to have physical people go into the store and buy physical discs. Somebody has to physically make that packaging. With digital, it's not as much work. And they can play with the numbers. So they can say, well, yeah, you got a million listens, but it's only worth this much. They can decide because they're the ones who are running the machine. In order for like Snoop and all them to like be able to even do anything, I don't even know if it's possible now because we've come so far along and everybody has gotten so used to streaming and the money. And I remember when Jay-Z was starting Title, and people were saying that he was doing too much and he, he eventually sold Title. But this is what Jay-Z was also taught my years ago and people kind of dismissed it. So it's very interesting now to see these conversations being had in 2023, and it's only going to get worse. And I think this is how come you see a lot of artists, you know, doing a little bit of everything, you know, commercials, acting, and, you know, just trying to keep with that lifestyle because the money is really not in the music. It's mainly in the concert and the physical, you know, ticket sales than anything else. So yeah, it's 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 crazy. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.